I'm Owen. I'm an ordinary office worker like anyone else. I was 26 years old at the time, and I had been in love with Nicola, the girl of my dreams since high school. We had a long-awaited wedding after a decade-long love affair. Then, in the summer, a few months after our wedding, we went on our honeymoon. I was young at the time, and I didn't have a lot of money. So, with our combined savings, we managed to cover the travel expenses. For a four-night, five-day trip to Key West, sorry, I really wanted to take you to a foreign resort. Really? I'm having fun. Look at this beautiful sea and blue sky. Key West is a place you don't get to visit very often, even for those in the United States. You have to have fun and not think about anything else, or else you're missing out, okay? Oh, ah, uh, yes. Come to think of it, she had always wanted to go to Florida for our honeymoon. I remember it was you, Nicola, who first suggested it. I think she came here once on a college graduation trip. Since then, she's visited the island frequently on trips with friends. She got completely absorbed in the charms of Key West. In other words, Key West became like a second home for Nicola. On the first day, we tasted the local cuisine at hotels and local restaurants. On the second day, we went to the beach and bathed in the crystal clear emerald green sea. On the third day, we visited some of the famous sightseeing spots. We had a great time on our honeymoon. It was a once in a lifetime experience. And on the fourth day of our honeymoon, on the day before we had to leave, that incident occurred. That day, Nicola and I enjoyed swimming at the beach until late afternoon. After that, we went on a tour of the souvenir shops. And by the time I returned to the hotel, I was completely exhausted. Ugh, so tired. I guess I'm tired from playing non-stop these past four days. Why don't you go to bed today? We have to get up early tomorrow and get on a plane. No, but I need to pack my bags for the trip home. I'll take care of it if you go ahead and go back to sleep. Nicola, you seem so energetic, even though we've gone out together from morning to night these past four days. Guam is my power spot. Just being on this island makes me feel energized. Oh, really? Well, then in that case, I'll take your word for it. Actually, I've been at the limits of sleepiness since a while ago. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Good night. I'll wake you up when it's time to leave. That day, I went to bed around 8 p.m. and woke up around 5 a.m. early the next morning. It was still dark outside and the white sand beach that should have been visible from the hotel window had lost its luster in the darkness of the night. At first, I was still groggy and my head wasn't clear. But as the minutes passed by, I gradually became more alert. At the same time, I noticed a big anomaly. At this time, I was supposed to be sleeping in the same bed with Nicola, but I couldn't find her anywhere. Nicola! Nicola! Where are you? Are you in the bathroom? I called out to her, but there was no response. I even looked in the bathroom, in the room, but her figure was nowhere to be seen. I tried calling Nicola on her cell phone. I grabbed my cell phone. However, it seems I forgot to charge it last night and the power was off. I'm sure my charger is supposed to be with my change of clothes. I was going through my bags when I found and noticed something even more unusual. Wait, what happened to Nicola's bag? Yes, her luggage, which was supposed to be placed with my travel bag last night, couldn't be found anywhere in the room. The souvenirs we bought together at the souvenir shop yesterday are still there, but Nicola's purse, change of clothes, cell phone, and toothbrush and other items in her bag had vanished without a trace. I was momentarily stunned by this abnormal situation. For a few moments, my mind went blank. But as soon as I came to my senses and ran to the front desk, Have you seen my wife? I think she left the hotel last night. Are you the husband? If that was your wife, she checked out about an hour ago. Wh what Why didn't you stop her? No, no. She said that she told you that she would be checking out first. 
What? What a fool! I haven't heard anything. So where did Nicola say she was going? Oh, uh, well, I can't say that. Damn it! That woman Nicola left without saying a word. Where the hell did she go? I waited until the last minute for Nicola to return to check out of the hotel. But in the end, Nicola never returned to the hotel. Afterwards, I thought about extending my stay in Key West to look for Nicola, but I had to abandon the idea because there are no available rooms at the hotel or further return flights. All I could do was file a missing person report at the police station for Nicola. Even after a month or two had passed, I still didn't know where Nicola was. According to the police, if Nicola was found, there's a possibility that I will not be informed if she refuses to report it. I didn't think about it, but maybe Nicola doesn't want to return to me. When I thought about it, I couldn't calm down and had trouble sleeping at night. And then, four months after Nicola disappeared, I finally decided to take action. Using a long vacation, I went to Key West for the second time in my life. Where we were staying was not that big of a place. A woman moved here from Arizona alone about four to five months ago. If we narrowed down our interview criteria, then the search for Nicola would not be so difficult. After five days of searching for Nicola's whereabouts, I finally tracked her down. To be honest, since Nicola disappeared, I've had this possibility cross my mind more than once. But I actually almost fell to my knees when I saw the scene. She was with a young local guy. They were living like a married couple. Hello? What? Owen! It's been a while. What are you doing here? Why are you here? I told the police not to reveal where I was. I knew you were the one stopping that information. I know if you had been involved in an accident, I would have heard from you right away. I'm not interested in that. Just answer my question. What are you doing here neglecting our marriage? Finally, the man who was relaxing with Nicola in the garden chair opened his heavy mouth. From the look on his face, the man could tell that Nicola was married. It seemed like he had not heard a word about it. What do you mean by marriage, Nicola? You're my wife, right? That That's... Tell this man in no uncertain terms that I'm married to you. That I left my husband at the hotel on our honeymoon and ran off to be with another man. You lowly woman. Ah, ah, ah. We can't understand anything if you cry. You have to explain the situation in your own words. You were two-timing this guy and me, weren't you? I know you were. Yes, yes, that's right. According to what Nicola said at the time, she had met the man from Key West during her college graduation trip four years ago. He was a diving instructor, four years older than her. She was 22 years old at the time and fell in love at first sight. They exchanged contact information and continued their long-distance relationship for four years. The reason why Nicola often went to Key West with her female friends was not for a trip, but to see this man. Actually, the story of going with friends was a lie, and she was actually traveling alone. By the way, all of this went on during my relationship with her. Then why did she marry me? If she was going to disappear suddenly like that, it would have been better if she hadn't married me in the first place. At first, I was going to forget about Peter. I thought the trip to Key West would be my last trip to forget about Peter. But after spending four days in Key West, I realized that my place was here after all. So I left you and stayed on this island to start a new life with Peter. It's selfish. That's too selfish. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I never pretended that I loved you. But Peter's presence and life in Key West was more attractive to me. So please allow me to live a happy life with Peter on this island. Duh, duh. Don't you dare make fun of me. The sound of my angry voice echoed through the sky. A few dozen seconds of silence passed among the three of us. The first one to open his mouth was the Key West man. Unlike his dumb face from earlier, 
His expression now showed clear anger and had a strong sense of determination. I agree to live on this island with you because you said you were single. If I had known you were married, I wouldn't have gotten involved with you. Please, please don't say that. I love you and I love this island with all my heart. I don't love you anymore. Liars like you don't belong on this beautiful island. Now pack your bags and get out of this house and get off this island. Oh, no, 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 no. Owen, right? I truly apologize for what I have done. If you ask me to pay for my wrongdoings, I will do so willingly. So please don't hate this island. Peter was a very clean and honest man. After I returned to Arizona, Peter came to visit me. He kept coming back and forth regarding Nicola's future and how to handle the situation, regarding the future with Nicola. In the end, both Peter and I decided to sever all ties with Nicola. Nicola agrees to provide evidence of her infidelities unconditionally. After my divorce with Nicola, I promised not to have any contact with her. In the trial that followed, I settled with Nicola for $50,000. I don't think our marriage was ever going to work. It wasn't even established properly for a single day. The amount of alimony was an exceptional amount. Incidentally, during the four and a half months she lived in Key West, Nicola was fired from her job for being AWOL. Nicola had to leave Key West and remains unemployed back at home. So in order to pay the settlement fee, it seems that she had to borrow money from somewhere. As a result, she now spends her days serving customers in a cramped room of a brothel. Compared to the beautiful blue sky of Key West, it must have been a gloomy and confined space. However, the current Nicola is in a place that suits her. Several years passed since then, and I have not gone to Key West once since. Peter says he'll teach me diving for free if I come visit. But it was still kind of awkward. But maybe someday, when I have a new girlfriend and have completely forgotten about Nicola, I might go to Key West again then. That place is where my old life ended. And it might be a perfect place to start a new one.